It's time for today's Bulldog Conversation, presented by the Sanford Sports Network. I'm sitting with Professor John Venable, faculty advisor for the Bulldog Investment Fund here at Sanford. We're actually sitting in the room where all of the uh, investment tickers are, are, where students can check that out. It's great to be sitting with you. Thank you for taking a few minutes with us. Good to be with you. Uh, what is this? We mentioned that we're the Bulldog Investment Fund run by students. Uh, can you clarify that and talk a little bit more about this Bulldog Investment Fund? Well, it's based on the simple idea that if you're learning about investments and you want to practice the art of investing, mm -hmm. it's much more realistic to work with real money than it is with funny money. There are and uh, were and have been uh, very good simulations out there, mm -hmm. but uh, every student who's gone through the process will tell you there's nothing quite like uh, uh, managing real money. So uh, we, uh, uh, the dean of the school of business and myself, made a presentation to the um, uh, trustees and to the president of the university uh, about uh, allowing us to manage some of the endowment money of the university. Okay. And uh, they were uh, very supportive of the, of the uh, idea and funded us with $400,000, okay. which uh, uh, we got at, uh, in February of 2008. Okay. Um, in August of this year, because of our performance, uh, the trustees uh, uh, again expressed their faith in uh, the idea and in the okay. students by giving us an additional seven hundred thousand oh, dollars to manage. So we're 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 under the gun, but we're feeling uh, real proud of our and, results. And you fall. said you just started in two thousand eight. Yes. And plenty of success in that. How? What has been kind of the student? Uh, feedback, I guess, response in this last, what has it been, I guess, about a year, year and a half or so? Students will tell you it's one of their best courses they've taken. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it's because they have truly complete control over the fund itself. They mm -hmm. make all the key decisions. And it's interesting when, when I tell people about this idea, the inevitable question is, well, you approve the uh, uh, decisions, don't you, John? And, and I would say, well, no, not really. I, uh, uh, I have to make sure that they're in compliance with the investment mm -hmm. policy. And then they'll pause and they'll look at me for a while. And say, but who makes the real decisions? And, and I have to tell them over and over again that uh, it is these students run this, so they pick uh, the stocks that we choose to invest in. Okay. We're 100 percent equities now. Um, they uh, choose the, the style uh, whether we're going to be aggressive or defensive. They choose which portions of the economy we're going to emphasize or okay. de-emphasize. They, they, they run the show. And uh, I think when you give students uh, the permission and the uh, responsibility, they mm -hmm. will rise to the occasion, and they have every time. And they outperformed, if I'm not mistaken, the other Sanford investments last year. Is that correct? Or I know they were very successful. Well, uh, rather than talk about outperforming other <laughs> portions of it, I will tell you that we are managed by, or we are judged by the relative performance. Uh, our benchmark is the Standard & Poor's 500 Index, okay. which is a broad measure of uh, stock uh, movements in the United States. And if the S&P index is up 15 percent, okay. uh, and we're up 13 percent, uh, you might be inclined to say, well, that's a good job. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's it's two percent relative un underperformance. Okay. But uh, since we've been uh, formed, we've outperformed the S and P 500 by uh, 12 percentage points. Wow, that's fantastic. If if uh, we were a professional fund manager, if the students were a professional fund management company, we would be placed in the top six percent of. Uh, wow. Uh, fund managers nationwide. Wow. With success like that, I imagine you're not just choosing any students. In, in wrapping quickly, we're about out of time. What process goes into choosing which students um, participate with this Bulldog Investment Fund? It's by in application and interview. We um, um, uh, take uh, people who've been through the prerequisite course of investments. Uh, they do receive course credit for uh, going through this process, but uh, 
uh, yeah, we're looking for just a, a few good folks, as the saying goes, and uh, so far we've been we've been blessed. Right. Well, it, it sounds like it, and hopefully, good things still to come. Uh, continued yeah. success with students uh, from here on out. Uh, we are out of time. It was great to be sitting with you, though, Professor John Venable, faculty advisor of the Bulldog Investment Fund. Thanks again. Good to be with you. You've been listening to Bulldog Conversation with Nathan Troost. The Adventure Bus Charters Halftime Show continues in a moment. This is the Sanford Sports Network.